Hello guys and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to talk about a static type analyzer or checker called named PyType. This is uh, this project is from Google, so it's developed in Google, and you can uh, grab it and use it as an alternative to the MyPy. But for my personal opinion, the PyType is much more sophisticated and it's relatively easy to get started with. So that's why I just uh, go ahead to the GitHub page and read about it. So PyType checks and infers types for your Python code without requiring type annotations. So this is a key difference, I think, uh, among all the uh, type checkers um, and the PyType. So what? How, how to get started? So you need to install the PyType with pip install PyType. Then uh, the, the convenient way is to generate a config file of the PyType. So just run this command and it will create a config file. And the config file is, uh, has a bunch of settings. We will go through the, some of the settings shortly. But let's just go back and check uh, the examples of the uh, of the PyType usage. So PyType use inference instead of gradual typing. This means it will infer types on code even the code has no type hints on it. Um, yeah, let's check it. So I'm going to uncomment this example and run it. So just PyType and provide the config. So this is how we run it. And it's, cool. it's quite uh, effectively found up, found that we are trying to add the integer to the string. So unsupported operand, operand type for plus function add on str expects str. So the right side of the operand should be str. So it's quite clever, quite wise. I like it. The second example. So the oh, uh, the second example is, let's just read it about. So here, the key, uh, I'd say, a key learning aspect is we have no type hints, but it gets uh, gets an error that there are in unsupported open types. That's quite good. Um, yeah, get, go back and read about this. Um, uh, yeah, this is a second. Mm. Examples so a PyType is lenient instead of strict. That means it allows all operations that succeed at runtime and don't contradict annotations. Quite cryptic. <laughs> Let's just run it to see if it's going fail or no. So ideally, uh, this is going to fail with my pipe because we are defined LST variable as a a list of strings, but then trying to append the integer. But PyType is just ignores it because it succeeds uh, in the runtime. Why? Because so Python allows us to append the integer to the uh, to the list. How we can change it? We can add that we are going explicitly uh, define the LST as a list of STRs. And I'm pretty sure that it will fail now. Yes. So new container type LST doesn't match type annotation. So we have defined LST as list of strings and added well, and, uh, and provided the default value. Then we are trying to append the integer to this list. It will not allow. So allowed con uh, contain container list unload contain types from annotation list str new contain type so it's uh, uncompatible types that's why the py type um, fails here and we can't even provide false types so i believe it should fail yes type annotation for lst does not match type of assignment so now we are um, trying to assign list of string to the list of integers. So PyType will not allow it. Quite neat. Now let's get, get back to the PyType config. 
So here we can exclude the test files. The input is what kind of directories we should process. Keep going is um, if we are getting the errors, should we keep going or just drop out? And jobs running in the parallel. So platform Linux Python version is there. Also, you can enable strict name tab, uh, tab name tuple check, strict parameter checks, strict primitive comparisons. But this example is quite um, neat for me. That's why I would like to talk about it. So we are here uh, allow PyType to check overriding uh, overrided functions, overriding methods. And this is a quite um, nice example. So what we can check here, uh, we can check overriding parameter count checks. So enable the parameter count checks for overriding methods. Let's just enable it. And I have uh, uh, this nice code example. So we have person class is abstract class and it has create full name abstract method. We have a user. We have inherited, in, um, inherited from the person class. And now we are trying to override this create full name, but by adding an extra argument. And PyType will not allow this because we have enabled strict count check of the argument count. I believe it should not allow. Let's check. Yes, user and uh, overriding method signature mismatch. So subclass, this is a base signature. This is a subclass signature. And now it suggests that parameter username must have a default value. So uh, if we add, for example, something here, let's check. Pass or... Yes, now, uh, so it forces us to add an extra argument, but with only default, default value. This is quite nice. I'm going to uh, disable it back. Oops. And now uh, let's check this one, overriding default value checks. Enable default value checks for overriding methods. That means that if we add username, here and add some kind of default value in abstract method. Did we enable it? No. My bad. Check it. Oh gosh, another crash. Okay. Uh, and ah, it's it should check an overriding method. Okay, so I'm going to add. Uh, I just called it next and check it. Yes, now it failed. So base signature and subclass signature differs in terms of the username. So the parameter username must have the same default value as a superclass. That's really, really uh, neat. Uh, so we can, so PyType is quite uh, handy on this. What, uh, what, what else we can check? Type, ah, oh, this one is interesting enough. So overriding parameter type checks. That means that if we have HDR, and but now we require some kind of list str hmm. uh, function user create full name was called with the wrong argument so this is uh ah, this is the actual call but how about how about the check itself? Yeah, now the type mismatch for parameter username. So overriding mess signature mismatch. 
because this is a strict uh, type checking enabled by PyType. So in superclass, we, we have username str, but in with uh, overriding class, we are trying to change the type of the username argument and PyType uh, will not allow it because we are um, we are enabling the type check uh, or we're writing parameter type check here. Nice. How it can be, uh, how it can be, so yeah, the pi type, my last words about it, the pi type is quite uh, handy on, uh, on running the CIs. So you can add the, uh, your workflow CIs um, as a pi type run as well. So it will uh, help you to statically check the types uh, on the on the continuous integration run. That's enough for pi type. Uh, you can play around and check if it's good fit for you uh, as for your uh, next project. See you later. Bye.